It had clouded up during the night. Gone were the deep blue skies that we had enjoyed the previous day. But the clouds meant that it didn't get as cold as it would have without them. Ruby and I had slept comfortably through the night, and it was time to get on with our day, clouds or no clouds. The first order of business was to get breakfast, oatmeal as usual. One of the problems with this campsite was that there was no way to get decent water from along the shoreline. So after I finished breakfast, cleaned up and put everything away, I headed out in the canoe to collect water further out in the lake. It may have been cloudy, but at least it was a lot calmer than it had been the previous day.
After collecting plenty of fresh drinking water, it was time to take it back to camp. With morning chores finished, I had time to head out in the canoe again and enjoy the calm water. With daylight running out the previous day, I'd rushed through the last portion of the river, which was the most beautiful part. So this morning, I headed back to the river to take it in at a more leisurely pace. I definitely did not want to negotiate the beaver dam again, so decided not to go any further up the river at this time. Completing my exploration of the river, I circumnavigated the lake and was treated to the sight of otters at play. Otters.
This is the portage over to Sandpit. I'm probably going to go there this afternoon after lunch. But right now, I got to get some lunch. So, I got to turn around, head back to camp. Looks like a pretty nice portage landing from here. Go ahead, get out. Get out, Ruby. There you go. Good. While I was enjoying my tuna salad wrap lunch, the sun popped out. So after I finished, it was time for some more exploration. This is Sandpit Lake. Here. I'm not 
Dinner tonight is Mountain House Chicken and Dumplings. Should be really good. I should have company in a minute here. Oh, looks good. Looks good. Let me show you what we what I what we're doing, what we have done, and what we're still going to do on this trip. This here is Low Lake, and we put in over here at the boat landing. This is outside the Bounty Waters. We made our way north along the lake to the range, start of the Range River. Uh, of course, like I said ye uh, yesterday, we had north wind all the way. Came up, we went past, uh, I think this is the Grassy River. Came past that on up. Came on somewhere in here. We had the first of the deep beaver dams. Then we had a 30 rod portage here. On up the river, 15 rod portage here. Somewhere along in here, we came across the second beaver dam. Uh, and then we came around here and entered the Bounty Waters over here. This is not an official entry point, it's kind of a back door in. 
So for my permit, I actually said that I came in via mud row, which would be up there. But anyway, came in here and came to this campsite here. You know, one and only campsite on Range Lake, which is where we are. There is another old campsite over on this point here, but it's uh, long been de decommissioned, used quite a while ago. From and so today, uh, this morning, I went back down as far as the Beaver Dam. And actually, got back up the river because it was so beautiful yesterday, and I was in such a rush to get through that I decided to go back this morning. Then we came back and had lunch. Then this afternoon, the sun came out. And so we made our way up to the portage here. It goes into Sandpit Lake. This follows the an old logging railroad bed, so it's real easy walking, very straight. Uh, just have to look out for a couple of rocks and roots along the way, but mostly it's a pretty easy walk. Oops, sorry. This is the portage I was talking about. I was looking at the map and not the camera. So, came on up here. Then we paddled around Sandpit Lake. We went by the campsite. I decided not to stop there. And then we, I was going to go try to take this portage over into Tin Can Mike Lake. But I was running out of time. So, decided to come back here and have supper. And that's where we are now. So, tomorrow, we're going to get up and backtrack down up the river <laughs> to uh, Low Lake and back to, <laughs> not back to Ruby's Head, back to, <laughs> okay, take my stick. <laughs> She likes sticks. Back to that landing. Yesterday morning when we were at the landing, where ours was the only vehicle there, I'm doubting that there would be anybody else in, unless it's there on a day trip. After tomorrow, tomorrow's supposed to be kind of like the last two days. Uh, Partly cloudy, on and off clouds. Uh, not sure if it's going to be part of the day sunny and part of the day cloudy. I don't know. Uh, last I knew, the low tonight was supposed to be 33. But anyway, uh, i got to get up and get going fairly quickly tomorrow. Because, again, I know we're supposed to have south winds about as strong as what yesterday's north winds were so when we come <coughs> down into low lake we're going to have that con to contend with so need to uh, need to make sure I leave plenty of time and of course even coming along the river uh, is made more difficult by the, if the wind is like that so I'm going to assume that it's going to be a tough day, wind-wise, and try to get out of here uh, early enough so I can get home by supper time. I do have all day tomorrow to play with, but I didn't bring any extra meals, so <clears throat> got to make a home for supper. I've got a lunch and I got snacks, and that's it. Oh well. We'll see how it goes tomorrow.